Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to trade on Vitrix. Alright, so let's get started. Once you've logged on, uh, Vitrix will go ahead and redirect you to the main homepage where you'll see some of the different altcoins, uh, the most popular ones or in-demand uh, altcoins that are up and coming. Now let's go ahead and click on markets on the Bitcoin market and you'll actually see um, all the different coins, uh, different options, not all of them, but a lot of them. You have different options that you can view them. You can choose to see six rows, uh, three, it's all personal preference. Um, if you see the coin that you want to go ahead and buy, then you can click on it. If you don't, you can just search for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just even though 2 gives on here, I'm just going to go ahead and search 2 give. Alright, and you should see a pop up here. Go ahead and click on the actual name of the altcoin. Alright, so um, when we load the information, you'll go ahead and see the graph, uh, the stats for that altcoin in a graphical format. Then you'll go and see the numbers to the right side. I've changed my settings on here uh, just to my personal preference, but you can actually go ahead and change the different settings on here. You can make it light and you can change the time zone, obviously. Um, you can go ahead and change the chart type. You can see it in candle lights. You can go ahead and see it in bar graphs. Um, as well as a line graph, a mountain graph. So this is a really neat thing that Bitrix has that allows you to go ahead and customize to your liking. So on the graph you'll actually also see that uh, there's a zoom option. So you can go ahead and zoom in and look at the stats for that altcoin. Um, by hour, you can zoom out and see them by days, by weeks, by months. And if you want to do that a little bit faster, there's also a drop down menu to the top left corner where you can see the stats daily, uh, try daily. You can go ahead and see them for a month, and you can even see them for the past minute. And that's the really neat thing about um, Bitrix and their graphing that allows you to personalize it to your liking. Alright, so that being said, the stats here on the right, um, you'll see that they're all being compared to their Bitcoin value. And um, as we mentioned in the previous video, uh, the, the way to exchange and trade is through Bitcoin. That's the most convenient and the most popular and most accurate way to trade because just about every cryptocurrency or altcoin um, has the option to be bought or sold through Bitcoin. So you have to look at Bitcoin like it's the US dollar of the, of the virtual world, okay? That being said, we can actually go ahead and scroll down and you'll see the most important section uh, regarding this video which is the trading section and you'll go ahead and you'll see your buying block and your selling block so when you're going to go ahead and buy you'll see that Bitrix is going to go ahead and reflect your available Bitcoin balance and down here on the order books, very similar to Polonix, you can go ahead and click on a specific order and Bitrix will go ahead and automatically fill those slots in for you. And if I want to fill in just the specific asking price that I'm clicking on, it'll do that. And if I want to go ahead and click on the specific order, it'll do that. So I can essentially click this order, let's say I want to buy that amount, but I want to buy it not at the lowest asking price, but maybe at 0.136 or 0.137. I can mix and match them. I can 
make it the same exact order that's highlighted or I have the option to going on the drop down menu right here and putting the last asking price which should be the top one um, the bidding and the uh, the different asking price right there and that's a really neat thing that Bitrix has all right so the same way that we can do that for buying we can obviously go ahead and do it for selling I can go ahead and click on the last on the bidding and on the ask price and input the units that I want to sell which obviously I can't sell any right now um, after all the fees it'll reflect the total amount in Bitcoin again because this is all being exchanged and traded through Bitcoin and then I go ahead and sell it now let's go ahead and try and attempt to buy some give some to give All right, so that's the amount of Bitcoin that I want to spend. I'm going to go ahead and buy it at the lowest asking price. And that should be the amount of to give that I'm going to receive. So let's go ahead. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put in the order. And confirm it. And you'll see that my order was placed and it's actually being filled and processed at the same time so it was an immediate transaction which is really good right here it'll show I have 372 point etc to give altcoins available so let's go ahead and try and sell some All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in the minimum required amount of Bitcoin to be sold at a higher asking price, of course, to see if it gets fulfilled, which should sell that amount of to give. Let's go ahead and put the order. And you'll see that my to give selling order has been placed it's obviously not going to be as fast as that selling order we did at the lowest asking price because I am asking for a higher price so at least it's been placed until it's fulfilled now you'll see that when you've ordered or when you've placed a transaction to be filled uh, you'll actually see it in the asking order block it'll be starred and it'll show you that this is your specific order and if you scroll down here you'll actually see your open orders which are essentially the orders that are being requested to uh, to get finalized and they're still pending they haven't been sold or or bought yet all right and when you go ahead and scroll down to the market history you're gonna see all of the history in the past 24 hours uh, regarding this specific altcoin the to give and of course its comparison and its cost in BTC or Bitcoin again which is the most popular cryptocurrency to do all transactions with and in my order history you'll go ahead and see that pending order that we're still waiting on even though it has not been processed yet uh, we'll still see it in the order history which is a really neat thing and it's a really um, convenient tool to have on your market page you don't have to go into orders and look at it you'll go ahead and see your order history and your pending orders or open orders uh, for this specific altcoin all on the same page that you're buying and selling all right so let's go ahead and click on let's go ahead and click on orders so that you can go ahead and see everything in more detail 
you'll see my open orders and my completed orders. This was that um, that order that we bought. So you'll see, um, you know, it was fulfilled immediately and it already went to my completed orders. Obviously, my pending order is still in the open slot. Um, and you can see the total units bought, um, the bidding or asking price, um, what type of sell it is, the market, order date, time, and so um, everything's pretty detailed for you guys. So that is how you buy and sell on Bitrix. So we do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe, and feel free to look at the different offers and services that we offer here at the Golden Island Club.